Hi everyone, um, so this is part two in our series of spinning at Lee's. So um, this year, uh, this time we're actually going to get into a longer video of us actually spinning me, or at least her spinning and me trying to spin. Um, the you did a good job. <laughs> we'll see. But the yarn or wool that we used is multicolored and is called... The Wood by Into the World. It's very pretty. I kind of feel bad for messing some of it up, but luckily Lee had spare yarn. So this is all spare yarn. This is not official Lee yarn. I can mess it up and it's okay. So, I hadn't planned a project for it since my December 2012 club, but not to knock into the world, I've spun many fine bets. Yes, it's just someone takes a little while. A couple of years. We'll, we'll name no names. No names, no names at all. But anyway, this is part one. Uh, next week will part two will be part two, and I will show you uh, my exciting conclusion. Let's go with that exciting conclusion. Is this the ether? Okay. And you can pull it out like farther, or probably with the couch back, so you don't get out of focus. And you want to pedal so that it goes in this direction. So this one? Yeah, to the right. So the wheel's spinning to the right. Okay. Yep. There you go. Yep. So you gotta use some momentum to make sure it carries. There you go. There you go. And you're just like beating little hairs in. You're doing it. You're a spinner. I don't feel like a spinner. <laughs> you're totally a spinner, see? All you gotta do is pull off little pieces of fiber. And if you keep your thing, like hands a little bit farther, then it'll be easier to feed it in. I should push this a little bit more. Do it. And the hard part is like getting the momentum started. I don't feel like it's... So... You've added quite a bit of twist, and see how it's like kind of kinking up? Uh -huh. So that's okay, we're gonna... So I'm pulling them in a little bit. So now start treadling. There you go. And you're gonna pull a little bit of yarn, move your hand forward, pull yarn, and like feed it in. And the hardest part is like consistently making it go around without pulling too much. Still getting it's the pulling off like the hang that yeah and keep your hands farther apart because you want to be more than one fiber length apart with your hands. Gotcha. That's there you go. See, oh. so it's like much easier to feed in if you're more than a fiber length apart. Put this over here. Yeah. And you can make it like really big, it doesn't matter. But you want to treadle slowly. Like the key to it is going as slow as you can without, yeah, there you go. And once you see that move in, then you'll know that you've like actually spun some yarn. It's going. Keep your hands farther apart. So we can feed this one on. So like draw your hands back. So there you go, you dropped it a little bit more. There you go. Yarn's happening. I 
feel like I'm expecting it to go much faster than it. Yeah, it's very slow. It's like, it's an extremely slow process because you'll go slowly. And the trick is spin, get some tension in the fiber, mm -hmm. pull it back to expose more, and then move it forward. Oh, okay. Like, keep putting way too much spin on it. Like, yeah. So it wants more fiber from you. So you've made some yarn. This is not my yarn. And keep your hands farther apart. There you go. And if it's like feeling hard against your hands, it's because your hands aren't far enough apart from each other. Yeah, so I'd say like six inches apart. Okay. And then you're gonna move it up a pin. Keep going. Like it, like it keeps, like I feel like there's too much. Yeah, there's a lot of twist. So it's about speed, so. practice without spinning for a little bit. So let me pull you off a hunk here. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do before even on the wheel. So here, grab this for me. And here's how you practice. So you're going to pull it apart a little bit. See how it starts to thin mm -hmm. and then twist. And right where this twist is, mm -hmm. pull it apart a little bit more okay. and twist. So I'm not feeding enough yarn. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it's tricky. So you're always adding a little twist, pulling apart. Okay. I think I'm getting it. It's just... It's, it's a lot of motions all at once, but this is drafting. So you're like slowly pulling apart and twisting, slowly pulling apart and twisting. So practice that a little bit. I'll just do it like this. Slowly pulling apart, twist. Slowly pulling apart, twist. Slowly pull apart, twist. And you'll see, like, it's called the drafting triangle where it starts to, like, get fine. Um. So watch. I pull some out, I twist, and this is where the triangle is going to start. And I pull some more out and I twist. I'm not giving it enough yarn. Yeah, you're not giving it enough fibers pulled out. So kind of the rule of thumb is like you want to go half the, so if you pull this, mm -hmm. see it's not pulling, like I can't break this, but if I move my fingers apart, not pulling, move them apart, pulls apart. Gotcha. So that's how you know the staple length of the fiber. If it's like fighting you, like this is not going to work, it's just going to hurt your hands inch your way back until you figure out where to pull where to pull and now you know your fibers are about this long so in order to add twist you need to have a couple of inches of a couple of inches of space so that it like just kind of glides across like if you feel this mm -hmm. like tug on that right. that's what it should feel gotcha okay so that's the feel that you're looking for with your hands is it to like slowly pull okay And then it's hard to make sure that it's like going to the right when you start because it's like instinctively your body wants to go like the opposite direction. Especially since I'm like a lefty. Yeah, I'm a lefty and I think I spin. I use my left hand as the control hand. So I have my left hand in the back and that makes it easier for me. It's easy too just to get used to the feeling of like drafting out the fiber. Like I think that's a good start. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see at what point I'm not over spinning the yarn. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, the drafting part is uh, like not an intuitive motion. 
because you have to get comfortable with your hands like almost slipping out too much whereas you want more control by moving your hands closer like try to move your hands as far apart as you can comfortably do it okay because that's how you like make this last longer is uh, giving a few fewer fibers each time Because, like, this little length of fiber, like, expands to this. So that's how, like, fiber becomes yarn. It's okay, yeah, it's, like, hard to figure out how close you can sit. And you can try just spinning a little bit to see if this will spin on. Other way. Like I feel like I'm expecting it to spin, go on to the... Yeah, so it's either going to add twist, or you're going to move your hand up to feed it in. Gotcha. So it either twists the yarn or moves it forward, but it's neither or. It, it is a very steep learning curve. Like my first yarn, it looks terrible. We can break it off and rejoin for you so that it'll be a little bit easier. Yeah, why don't we do that? All you have to do is untwist it to be like a clean fiber length. Yarn is not dealing with it. I'll cut it. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Now you have fiber to get through and you use this little orifice hook to go in here. That's orifice hook. <laughs> That's its name. And hook through there. And there's a lot of twists in that. Yeah. Like I wasn't feeding it enough. Yeah, and that's a thing to get used to, you know? Like, it can be tricky. And making sure you're always going to the right, because if you start going to the left, it'll like kink up on itself. It's like riding a bike, which I don't know how to do, so you're already ahead of me. Maybe one day. <laughs> Just tie it in a knot, you'll be fine. Okay. There you go. Now it's like actually feeding in. You're doing it. And since it's got a little extra twist, you might have to help it along a little bit just because it's bumpy. Okay. 
so it like it's kind of caught. It's okay. It should wind on. I don't feel like... I don't know if it's something I'm... Or... I don't feel like it's... Here, I'll increase the tension a little bit. But you should be good to go. And I can get it reset for you if you want. Like, I don't... Like, I feel like it's just clumping up and it's not... Let me take a seat. It should work. Like, I... I don't know if it's like a me thing. No, it's not a you thing. Can get you reset. Like, I guess it might just be I'm expecting it to feed quicker than it is. Yeah. So let's see. I would say just go pinch and pull. That's all you have to do. So I'm feeding in like an inch of fiber. And just count. So go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And your fingers will move as your feet move. And then it just kind of like floats on. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then it will like go. But okay. it's not going to go as fast as you want, and your fingers will advance it as far forward as it's going to go. Okay. Boom. Okay. And make sure it's going right. No, oh, go right. Yep. Because otherwise it will mess up if you're not going right. Go for right, right. There you go. There you go. Okay. You got it. And make sure you always pinch and then go forward so that the twist doesn't go into all of the fiber because that's okay. what's getting it like stuck and okay. bumpy. Remember, if you're fighting it, it's because your hands aren't far enough apart. Yep.
actually getting the hang of it. Yay! See? Oh my god, I lost it. That's okay. Here, we'll use the hook to get it back. <laughs> Plus the charm, happy hook right now. Yep. So, there we go. So it's kind of hard to find the end usually. And then we gotta go here. So, go up to there. Mm -hmm. Take feet off wheel, make sure you don't... Feet off wheel. Make sure, you know, it's the only way to ensure you don't mangle someone else's hands. Yeah, you know, you just have to knit all the rest of my yarn forever, which I think would be a good outcome for you. So like two weeks, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was the dirtiest look ever. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> I'm gonna have you try it this time. Okay. So try and find the end of it. Mm -hmm. Actually, might apply. There we go. There you go. And then you're gonna want to put the hook through. Yeah, and like snag it. There you go. Congrats. You're a hooker. You know, there are very few times when I'm actually in my life happy to be a hooker. There you go. Th th thanks so much. You're welcome. having trouble like joining the joining is not easy so the way to join is you pull out a little bit more and then put it in with your other yeah that's what probably is why yeah so you have to make sure you get enough twist in because if you don't then it like kind of falls about that won't work you gotta use the hook there you go Twist them up. There you go. Yeah. So this section's under twisted. Okay. This section has enough twist to like be yarn. You're doing it. That might be too big to fit through my wheel. We'll see. I'm trying to. Yeah, so the way to. So untwist it a little and then pull out a little bit more. See? So it thins out. Gotcha. There you go. Very candy cane -ish. It's fun. Can 
keep spinning because the wheel will pull it in for you. Well, there we go. Did you just take a picture of me? Yeah, I'm sending it to you so you have it. Oh. Come on. I think I got a text message. That's from me. sure you're always going to the right and letting that feed in onto the wheel. And we gotta go to ice cream in a little bit because it's 8.50. Priorities everyone, ice cream. I love ice cream. more consistent. This is so much more consistent than my first yarn. Like, <laughs> let me reassure you. My first yarn's actually terrible and I've kept it forever. I'd show you, but it's in a box. <laughs> it's already packed. Well, that's what I need is just a picture of the... Once we move, I'll send it because I'm not taking it out of whatever box it's in. That's fine. just like, hey, you still have any text that you haven't done yet? Okay, I'm almost, I think I got ahead of myself. Because I think, yep, okay. All right, so we'll see you next week.